Morning and welcome to this training 20. We have got a upper body mobility session, so we're going to jump straight into it um, and just hit 20 minutes of upper body mobility. So focus on the shoulders, back, chest. So I just want you to bring yourselves lying down first. Stretch your body out, point your toes and reach with the hands and stretch out here like so. And then from here, we're just going to curl up, round up, tuck, and then reach back out, big stretch out here. Control your breathing, don't just control your breathing throughout this whole session. Up and tuck. Really rolling those shoulders up the floor, stretching out that back as we roll up. And then out we go into that big reach. It's okay if you're arching the back off the floor, reaching as far as you can. And then roll up again, big tuck. And then big reach once more. Cool, nice. So, Bring your feet up, flat, the close to your bum, so your knees are up. I'm going to take the arms up first. I'm going to make sure the core's engaged downwards, so our back's flat. I'm going to take it one arm all the way up and just hold here. Feeling that stretch on the back, on the back, driving that shoulder right down, pushing down here. And then I'm going to bring it back and take the other side down, same again. Driving down here, keeping the back flat, pushing down, feeling that stretch. And then back up it goes. And then we're going to take both down together. Again, same position, trying to push them down as much as you can, whilst maintaining that flat back. And then back up. We'll go over to that first side again. If you can't get all the way down, you can try and use your thumb. If you're just hovering here, that's fine too. The main thing is the arm stays straight as we hit that stretch. Keeping the arm nice and close to the ear. So straight up. And then onto the other side. And then both together. Once more for each, so here we go, big reach here. Onto the other side. And then both together. Cool, from there we're gonna bring our elbows Right out to the side, so they're level with our shoulder. And keep everything pinned down against the floor. Just gonna rotate this hand this way. Be taking your knuckles to the floor, keeping the elbow pinned down, and then rotate back up and onto the other side. Rotate, taking it in turn to rotate here, making sure our shoulders down, our elbows down. Our whole wrist is down and our, particularly our knuckles are down like so. Back up, alternating sides here. Really focusing that the back is fully down is important here. Alternating sides. And then we go doubles, so both up, maintain that position, and then back. And 
hold them down here. From here, we're going to press up above the head, not taking off the knuckles or the elbows. As soon as they feel like they're going to go off, to start to bring it down. So let me show you. So as I go up here, I'm pressing above the head and watch this elbow here as it comes up, it's going to eventually want to come off. So I'll keep it down to about there. If I want any further, it'll come off. So that position, I'm going to bring it, slide it back down. So that's what we're looking for next. So up they go. You may have different on either side, but reach as far as you can. Don't arch the back to keep these down. That's the main thing we don't want to be doing. This comes first, drive it down, keep it tucked up, so the back's flat, start from here, up they go, as soon as you can't go any further, without losing the elbow, bring it back. Take your time in that last part, try and get as far as you can, without compensating any way, and then bring it back down. Let's go and go for two more here. Cool, so now you know how far you can kind of go with that. We're just going to press through it. So get to that point and then just allow your elbows to come up as you go for a full reach up. And as soon as you can, get those elbows back down. Nice controlled here. I'm going to go for three more. Last one. Rest it off there a little bit, you should be in a bit overworked in your shoulders, but otherwise we're going to bring it back down. So we're going to take our arms back above the head, we're going to try and squeeze our shoulder blades together. Now this may prove hard with the floor in the way, but what we're looking to do here is as you can see, watch my shoulder here, see how it comes up and pushes forward, then we're looking to squeeze it back and down, drive it into the floor and then back off. And you can really Squeeze these two together and then round off. That's what we're looking for first of all. But if you're really struggling to get that squeeze, just think about hitting the shoulder into the floor and then back down. And off. Like so. Pull those over, pull those shoulders right down to the floor, keeping the back fat core strong and then round them off. The arm stays straight throughout this whole time, the movement's coming from the shoulder. Like so. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull those shoulders down, take the arms out wide whilst keeping the shoulders down, back up they come, push them off, back down, and back out. When, you, when they go out into that fly, we're really going to squeeze those shoulder blades down to the floor continuously. So. And we do the same with those upper ones again, so we drive them down above the head, back, and push up. Last 
one here. Oh. So we're going to focus on that a bit more by doing it on our hands and knees. So bring yourself to your hands and knees here. And make sure we've got that nice flat back first. And then we're just going to use the floor to keep the arms straight, push into the floor and squeeze the shoulder blades together back and then round out at the top. Squeeze and then round. Keep that going here. This is a super, really good thing to practice. We're going to spend a bit of time here. I'm going to take you through some more advanced options for this. But if you struggle with any of them, just come back to this one here. We're squeezing back and forth. You can't do this one enough in terms of having that scapular control. So the next one is going to be in a plank where we're here. We squeeze them back and then round them out there. Squeeze and round. Squeeze and round. Putting up some strength into those scaps. And then you can also try this one down here. Same again, just on the forearms. Just gain that control, squeezing the scaps back and then rounding back. Really good way to build some upper back strength. Nice out to have some healthy shoulders. Cool, nice. From there, we're going to drop it back into that child's pose where we're driving that chest right down. My arms are staying locked out straight. I'm pushing, I'm thinking about pushing my armpits down to the floor. I'm trying to touch my armpits to the floor whilst keeping the arms straight. So I feel that stretch on the shoulders, that chest. And then rest it off. And round out. A big round as much as you can, tucking those hips and rounding and hold here. Again, locked out arms, tucking the hips right under, stretching out that spine the opposite way. And we'll take it back into that child's pose, shoulder stretch. This time we'll shuffle it over one side, so we're hitting the lat, driving this armpit down to the floor as we hold this stretch. And then take it over to the other side. So it's this armpit now that's going straight down to the floor, arms stay locked out, driving that chest down. Bring it back up. We're going to go into that big round of the back again. So arms locked out, tucking the hips right under. All we do is drop one shoulder forward and one shoulder back, we're just mobilizing the spine side to side, stretching out here, stretching out the sides too. See how the arms stay locked out, but one shoulder pushes forward. One shoulder pushes back, whilst I stay in that round the position, feeling that stretch on the back, back and forth. I'm going to bring it back down into that chest down stretch again. This time we're going to reach it under and through, keeping this arm locked out. Still trying to drive that armpit down, just pushing down here as this arm's reaching through. Just 
swap it over, same on the other side. Nice. So, these next ones, um, you can easily use a wall to sit against. What you do is you put your bum right up against the bottom of the wall. You then sit up straight. You can either have your legs up straight, have your legs bent, like so. And continue with these exercises here. Alternatively, you can do it sitting just straight up. I recommend the wall because it keeps you stricter, stop, makes it harder and stretches you out. Um, without having to worry about what position you're in because it heads it for you. But I'm going to show you without in case you can't do that and just show you that you can do it like this. So the main thing is we stand, sit up tall first with those feet in, core strong and then from here lifting that shoulder up, grab your shin and take the other one up. Maintaining that flat back, not arching at all looking forward, alternating sides here. Stay against the wall for this one as well. Well, I want you to stay against the wall for all of these, but I'm going to show you front ways on. You're going to take a hold of this opposite knee. So we'll take the arm first, take hold of this knee, and it's going to lean to the side. Obviously, when you do it against the wall, you know you lean direct to the side because your back should stay in contact with the wall. But you can do this one here, like so. Again, arm goes up, grab hold of that knee, and lean over. Sides. Keep alternating sides with me. One more time on each side here. From here we're going to go for a two-way press, again using the wall, um, just to imagine I'm just sitting on the wall here, we're going to go straight up press where my elbow says line with my wrist, straight up there you go, back down, take them wide, sideways press where you can slide those elbows up the wall if you like to. Either way the hands finish up, touching the wall, back down, out, and press. I'm going to swivel it round. It's exact same here, maintain that flat back here, core strong, press up, back down, out wide, press, back down. If you're not getting up all the way, that's fine, just work to your limit. This is something that needs practice and can improve your range of motion in the shoulders the more you do it. Cool, rest there, nice. So that was a quick 20 minutes. Um, lots of upper body mobility there. Um, not very intense at all, which is where you want it sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. Um, Otherwise, have a nice rest of the week. I'll see you Friday for a conditioning session. Um, but hopefully it should be a good one.